Hello everyone, I'm the Survivalist. I wanted to make a little quick video to kind of put out there because one of my commenters who's pretty regular with commenting has been having some issues trying to get their carnivores mods and that working. So I'm going to do a little step by step of the best way to get everything in order. And one of the things, it's a bit of a misnomer. A lot of them are called carnivores mods, but they're standalone mods, meaning you don't actually have to have the Carnivores 2 downloaded and then overwrite files. So I'll show you step by step if you're looking to get anything sort of running and going on its own, how you do that. So first, we're on the desktop. I'm going to create a new folder. Just put it right there. We'll just call this test. It doesn't matter whatever you name it. My advice, like you see here, is to name it Carnivores Series Etc. Open that up and just leave that as is. Now, you'll go into your browser, whatever you are. I'm just using one of my videos, for example, on mandibles here. Go into Show More, and as you can see, I always include a link and credits to the main developer for them. Open that up, just give that a moment, and here we are to the page. Now, what we'll want to do is go into Files. We'll take the most recent, the beta 1.99, just click on that, Download Now. I usually just do the click automatically, and we'll do Open With. I can't remember what program I really use to open this. I don't know if it's included or like it's a window zip or something else, but just open up the zip and let it download. So that'll just be about a minute or so. We can close that off. We can close this off. Oh, don't exit. My bad. Again, a little ahead of myself. We've got to let that go through. And we'll basically just show how you put it in. We're not exactly going to boot it up just because you're probably going to see the screen go in all kinds of crazy if I try that, but... We'll put that in, and we're also going to open up the RES folder, or not the folder, the RES file in the mod, and show you if you want to change the point values to maybe make things cost less, more, etc. How you can do that, easy, no trouble whatsoever. So far, we've got a little over 30 seconds left. And I can see where this kind of became an issue for people, because whenever you say something's a mod, that generally means you have to add it into something else that's already present. Prime example is... I don't have Skyrim anymore, but there was a good example. Monster Hunter World for PC is an example. Um, I don't really download the mods manually for Warhammer 2. But in general cases, whenever you have a mod for a game, it's generally something where you have to overwrite or place it into the files for something already there. A lot of the Carnivores mods, as long as they're like a standalone or an all-inclusive... You don't really have to do anything. So this is what we get for opening up the zip. Now what you want to do is select everything. We'll just drag that all the way down. Just do an up and down. Everything's over. And just transfer, copy it to whatever that folder we made on the desktop. Let it just slowly go through. There we go. Complete there. Everything's in there. So we'll close that up now. One of the steps that generally you want to do at this stage is to right-click on the application, go down to Properties, and go to Compatibility, and we'll do Run in Compatibility Mode and change that to the 90H slash ME, Apply. That'll just save you on number crashes. So now all you basically have to do is boot that up. Be mindful. The antivirus and kind of computer security program I use, Bitdefender, it has a lot of errors that... Well, not errors, but pop-ups that say, we blocked this and we stopped this from running. So you might have to allow your antivirus or your programs to run those. But what we'll do now is change the RES for the point value. So we want to click on Hunt Data. And here is the RES. Now, you can open this with a number of things. I found easiest just to open with basic notepad. And this is where you get all kinds of stuff. So there's things like the weapon statistics, the prices for them are included. Right, all at the bottom, but... This is just a thing like some of the stats for the weapons, uh, the player themselves, the animals, health, etc. to things like that. What we want, though, is end of characters to prices. So you can change how many points you start with. You could change that up to a thousand, keep it at a hundred, etc. And we can reduce area costs, shrink them down, ramp them up, etc. Uh, same with the animals, your hunting values at. I know it says dino, this is mandibles, but it's just kind of how the programming is the weapons, and the accessories you can kind of equip, like double ammo, I think would be that at the bottom, the radar, etc. And then when you're all done, you just do File, Save, 
And that's it. It's all modded and ready to go. So this should hopefully just help you guys if you have been curious about mandibles or trying out some of the mods and you're not really sure. Check and see if it has everything in there. Like, if it includes an application like this, it means you have a standalone mod. You don't have to try overwriting any prior files or previous files like that. You're good to go. Just bring everything over into its own folder. Know where you can access it and just bam, open up and you should be good to go. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Just want to do a little quick video to try to be a bit of tech support. I've had a little bit of experience with that. So hopefully this will help you guys out and I'll catch you in the next video. Please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive.